These are dangerous waters infected with a deadly parasite. Bilharzia is carried by small snails invisible to the naked eye. It penetrates the skin, slowly destroying internal organs. Despite the risks, Ibrahim Sek comes here every day to fish. I know it's dangerous, but we need the fish and the disease doesn't really bother me yet. Ibrahim is a 13-year-old teenager that looks about 8 years old. The devastating effect of the disease is clearly visible in his stunted growth. Children are at the most at risk suffering from chronic anemia as a result. The parasite is growing, but he is not. There's no vaccine against Bilharzia. There are no doctors here to treat him. Just one overwhelmed part-time health worker with basic training is covering the entire district. His treatment is Proziquantel, a bitter-tasting drug that kills the disease. No one likes to take this medicine. It doesn't taste good and makes you nauseous and sick, so people take it reluctantly. It's a short-term solution because villagers here continue to go to the river and get infected again and again. This dam, built in 1986 to protect farmland from brackish water, changed the river's ecosystem. As a result, the snail's only predator, the prawn, was wiped out, allowing Bilarzia to multiply and infect hundreds of thousands of villagers. Now scientists are reintroducing prawns in enclosures. The results are astonishing. There are only 20 prawns in this small enclosure, but that's enough to protect thousands of people. Now scientists want to expand the model, but the problem is these prawns are an endangered species. The dam is blocking the brackish water needed for the prawns to reproduce, so researchers are breeding them in a controlled environment, but it's a challenge. They are difficult to breed. These prawns are cannibals. They end up eating each other. So we now have resorted to importing them from neighboring Cameroon to boost numbers. Scientists say they need only $2 million to breed enough prawns to eradicate the infection altogether. So far, they've managed to secure only $200,000 in funding. Bilharzia is what the United Nations calls a neglected tropical disease. It receives little international attention. Yet 250 million people worldwide are infected, mostly the poorest communities, like here, where Bilharzia is a slow and silent killer. Nicholas Hawk, Al Jazeera, Lumsar, Senegal.